Okay, here we are out on the uh, back country. Let's call it that. It's uh, part of the 10,000 islands. And uh, pretty much starting south of Marco Island and Goodland, uh, the 10,000 islands start. And they go all the way down to the Florida Keys. There is a uh, canoe kayak trail that uh, travels all the way down. They have these uh, little places that uh, are actually wooden platforms. They call chickies. And uh, you can camp on those overnight. Uh, you do need a permit if you're going to go do that. Uh, that can be gotten at uh, the Everglades City. Um, I think that's a state park down there. And uh, there is a launch ramp there. Uh, a lot of people actually start there and uh, head down. It's about 100 miles from, uh, from Everglades City down to uh, another little town, uh, another state park uh, called uh, Comingo. A few years back, there was a uh, hurricane that came through this area. Uh, did some damage to uh, some of the houses uh, over towards Marco and, and Goodland, and, and uh, including uh, going over to uh, the mainland, uh, Naples area. And uh, you'll see some of the remnants of that out here. Uh, it caused a lot of... Uh, the trees and so forth to die uh, just because you know they either got uprooted or there was just too much salt water or a variety of reasons I've mentioned in other videos that uh, you see a lot of mango trees it's pretty much almost all mangoes along the water uh, we're coming up on an area here that, uh, you know, was de definitely uh, uh, ruined by that hurricane. And uh, if you look close, you can see like thousands of little roots going into the water. And that's your uh, mango tree. We came out of Goodland. We basically were heading uh, pretty much west towards uh, Marco Island. At this point, Marco Island would be on our right side. The road that you get to Goodland is called San Marco Road. Off of that is this little exclusive 
area where uh, people have built some houses and uh, they have built those on some islands that are here and this bridge up ahead is uh, where they get across from Marco over to uh, the island that they have all these houses on. I won't say a lot of houses because I have only seen about three. But when we get on the other side here of the island, uh, we'll probably see some more houses. And uh, we'll definitely show you those if we can get close enough. These aren't the average house. This would be, uh, you know, in the millions. Uh, especially since it's on an island. And, uh, you know, they had to build this bridge to get over to the island. So there's a couple million probably right there. dead tree here sometimes dead trees you know just give you like a art form you know hanging over the water like that it's pretty cool this is kind of a river between the two islands here we're going to be on this for a little bit and then we'll come out into a big bay and uh, then we'll turn kind of a little bit south and uh, then we'll go back towards the east. We're going to make a big loop here today on going out of Goodland and we'll be right back to where we started. should be starting to go out and uh, if you look ahead here you can see kind of some mud areas uh, basically the tide goes up over the top of those uh, you can see some moss and stuff that's kind of growing on there uh, of course amongst the dead trees but uh, you know it it's just the way it is. Uh, tide around here is about two feet or so. Uh, they do have certain times when the tide gets to be really, really uh, a lot deeper than that. I think it might go up to three feet. Uh, but nothing like up on the East Coast. I mean, the, the tide up there can be like 12 or 15 feet. So it's a, a big difference down here. the wind behind us a little bit ago and now it turned around and now it's a kind of a coming off of the, the northwest side here but we're going to turn south a little bit so it won't be too bad over to our right there you can see a bunch of uh, condominiums uh, we're getting closer to Marco so you're going to see a little bit more of that some that's still on the mainland there. All that is off of uh, San Marco Drive. Uh, those areas that uh, I'm talking about are all gated communities. 
so you can't really get in there to see what's going on or anything. Uh, most of them have security at the gates, so, you know, it's one of those things that you just, you know, you can't, you can't get in close to see what they're looking for. Gonna head in here or see this little bay here, I think. Uh, it might be, uh, yeah, we can probably paddle through there, looks like. Some of this is really shallow in here. I'm sure that, uh, you know, fishing boats can't quite get into this area. Off to the uh, left here, you can, I'm gonna swing around here a little bit. That's all like right there, it's all mud. Actually, I'm gonna get too close to it here. I'm gonna have to back up a little bit. Yeah, we're, we're like in two or three inches of water right here. So we're gonna have to back up and get over here away from it a little bit. I just turned a little bit back towards that uh, building that we saw a little bit ago, uh, mainly because I saw this uh, crab pot. Obviously, uh, the water was deeper in here at some point, and the guys put uh, put a pot in here, and now it's uh, just floating on, you know, the dirt. Let's see if we can get up close to it here, so you guys can get an idea. Looks like it's all kind of like uh, chicken wire, and uh, it's got some main wire around it. So, give you an idea what they look like. Uh, that's probably down in the water, maybe about uh, six, eight inches or so. There's no crabs in it though. Most of the crab pots that I have seen have been homemade. I'm sure that's a homemade one. I think you can buy them, but uh, I'm sure that most of the fishermen who are out here crabbing, why well, they're, they're gonna be uh, making their own. There's a little uh, waterway here. We're gonna head up. Uh, pretty sure it dead ends up here, but uh, sometimes we can spot some wildlife that we haven't seen. I did see uh, one blue heron a little while ago. You saw that guy, but that was a blue heron that went by. Pull the rudder.
rudder up. We're getting real, real shallow back here. I'm have to back out. Systems. I uh, got it in uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, it does have a rudder on the back. So, actually, a little bit ago, you probably heard a little bang noise, and I had to bring. Way for you guys to see. There he goes, he keeps fishing. Paddling uh, pretty much south at this point. Off to the left, there's some uh, houses over there, but you probably can't see them in the distance. But uh, if you remember, I was talking about some million dollar houses, and uh, they're across that bay there. Uh, we're, we're following an island. An island uh, kind of shelters this bay to a certain degree. So we're just uh, following that. We have the wind uh, pretty much behind us to the, off of our left corner. We'll be able to make pretty good time across here. talking about those million dollar houses so uh, we're gonna get over here close to a couple Uh, if you can see that, there's a break in the uh, in the land out there. Then uh, it's kind of in the center. There's a uh, little sandbar, looks like, and 
Beyond that is the Gulf of Mexico. So we're gonna actually uh, kind of turn left here and and uh, head back down. Uh, we'll be going uh, southeast at that point once we get around the corner up here. And uh, we'll be on our way back to Goodland. Okay, we're going to be paddling a while. This is pretty much a uh, straight run as far as you can see down there is where we're headed. And uh, when I get down that way, I will get back with you. Just a lot of paddling. Up to the right, uh, there is a uh, huge island over there. It's a really, really big island. And of course, uh, on our left here is the island where all those houses are. We just kind of went around that. And we're headed back towards Goodland now. be some islands up here on the left uh, they're just little tiny ones and uh, we're gonna probably just go right by those kind of interesting we had the wind uh, in all kinds of different directions and uh, now we're headed back into it again so I think it might have switched around again It was coming out of the west, and we're going southeast, so uh, it must have switched around on us. take off and they splash their feet in the water you would think he's a duck but actually he's a bird off in the distance there you can see that marina that's uh, where I had a sailboat and uh, probably had it three or four years over there Uh, Calusa Marina. It is on the island of Goodland and uh, definitely one of the best marinas in the whole area as far as I'm concerned. They uh, always really took care of me. If I needed something they would take care of getting it. Uh, they were just great people there. The one lady in the office was just unbelievably nice in today's world, sometimes you can't find that. So I always appreciated what they did for me. And uh, a lot of the time I had the boat on uh, land, on the trailer, and then I just put it in when I wanted. And, uh, you know, it was a couple hundred bucks a month, but it really wasn't that bad at all, you know, considering. So it was a great place to be. back at the boat ramp and uh, got the kayak out and uh, we're gonna load her up here in a minute 